Hey there, everybody. Arlo's here from Ice Games, bringing you episode 237, I believe. Uh, yes, 237 of my Guild Wars 2 Ranger Let's Play with a uh, very dead Kivina here and a little dead Rocky. I'm sorry, Rocky. Oh, poor Rocky. Uh, but yeah, we are a very dead Kivina Ki Ki here uh, in the kind of like uh, Land of the Dead. Uh, we've been... You know, we chatted with this uh, this cool Joko guy. I don't know, he was trapped in here by Balthazar. He seems like a really, really nice person. Definitely a friend I'd love to have uh, later on in the story. Uh, so we uh, talked with him, figured out who we are. Actually, sorry, I guess we died because we fought Balthazar and Balthazar killed us, um, which was uh, kind of neat. So um, I, I ended this episode in the middle of this thinking I would start kind of, maybe not in this part, but I start where I died. Um, no, you started before that fight. You can't actually lose that fight, because if you die, because I just decided, I'm like, hey, I'm just going to try to die early. Maybe it'll, it'll put me in the, the, the land of the dead early. No, he, he keeps raising you from the dead, which uh, he'll be like, it's uh, you need to try harder, blah, blah, blah. And then um, he'll uh, he'll do that, which I thought that was kind of neat. But you can't actually lose that fight against Balthazar there. So when I was like, I'm doing amazing, maybe it's just because he wouldn't let me die. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we ended up here, talked with Joko, talked with this um, character called the Judge and uh, went kind of on a journey to figure out who we were, because uh, when you die, you kind of forget who we were, figured out, went through kind of the story of our story. So kind of saw the start of it. We saw, you know, attacking Zaitan. We saw Scarlet attacking. We saw the death of Lion's Arch and stuff like that and uh, everything that led up to this point. Uh, and then we came back to the Judge and we need to. In order to actually escape, we need to uh, search for the Eater of Souls. Because we can defeat the Eater of Souls. Um, uh, we have to conquer the, uh, the Eater of Souls and live again. And uh, that's what we need to do. Because he kind of wants us to, as he says, remind uh, Balthazar that none escape judgment. Because he wants us to do that and uh, kind of maybe send Balthazar here. Which would be kind of cool. I wonder if that's a thing that actually happens. We'll find out. Where are you, Eater of Souls? I was kind of, I like when, oh, there we are. Defeat the Eater of Souls and reclaim your, reclaim your vital spark. But I like when um, games will do a little bit of a rundown of the story. It's kind of neat. I like that. More of that arena net. I got. I got. I got to make make proud with my combat. I don't think I can. Oh, I can. I can root you in place. You steal boons. That's like cheating. Weaken souls to consume them. Uh, steals boons. Okay. I'm guessing we are a soul. I'm guessing that's why we have blue health. Is that why we have... Yeah, we don't actually have, like, anything that says we are, like, a soul or something like that. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. <laughs> we still have we can still... Then eagles and stuff after him. Eagle! Come on, Rocky. Then he spikes after him. Yeah! Good job, Rocky. There we go. Defeated the... Um... Eater of Souls. Ooh! You did it! All these spirits have been revived. This certainly is unusual, Commander. But since Joko's arrival, nothing here has been the same. It's clear he doesn't belong here. He's not a spirit, but he's not strictly alive either. That's the problem. Joko can't be judged here, because he's not truly dead. What's worse? The magics Balthus are used to contain him are beyond the judge's power to break. They exist. 
this at Balthazar's will. This is as far as I go. I must face judgment and receive my final reward. Good luck, Commander. See, but now I'm confused. Who judges her now and where does she go? Again, this this comes down to the whole like human gods and stuff, because normally like Grenth put the judge in charge to like send people where they go. But now that Grenth is like the, the, the human gods are gone, like does does the places they create kind of like slowly fade? Like will this will the judge slowly fade away? Because they've left this plane of existence and stuff like that. I'm, I'm, I'm I don't know. I want to know so bad. This is what I'm going to spend all my time going a deep dive into is the gods of Tyria, the, the, the more powerful entities of Tyria. I'm very excited. I knew you'd be back, but I bear no crutches, harbor no ill will. Release me now, and I will still honor the deal you foolishly rejected. Your help is worthless. I've found my own way back, and I'm off to succeed where you failed, by defeating Balthazar. Good for you. Such pluck and self-delusion. Off you go, then. Of course, you are forgetting one crucial detail. Balthazar has an army. Do you have an army, little one? Well, I do. An army to rival that of the disgraced god. We both know you don't stand a chance without my awakened soldiers. You may be right about that. I do need your army, but I don't need you. What? No. My awakened are loyal to me. They'll never obey anyone but their beloved God King. Really? Because in your absence, your army obeys the Mordant Crescent. I've seen it, and I can use it. I warn you, do not leave me here. By royal decree, I forbid it. Sorry, your majesty. But from what I've seen, your kingdom is better off without you. But, but praise Joko. All right, we're going to leave Tyria. Or, um, open the... Uh, the gate blocking the portal to Tyria. So it looks like now all those spirits can be judged and uh, we can, I guess we can be judged and see if we can go back to our, our bodies, which I'm pretty sure turns us into a zombie. Is that how this works? Come back here, pathetic mortal. This is your last chance. I will return to reclaim my throne. And I will have my revenge on those who put me here. Who left me here, and who dare take advantage of my absence? The torture. Oh, yes. I have plotted it out. I will just laugh as their wretched pleas for a longer life turn to desperate cries for a faster death. Oh, boy, Balthazar. All right, so... I'm sorry, Joko. Let's, uh, see here and, uh, come back to life. Get back. Commander! Is that... Wait, what's going on there? You all said the commander was dead. I, w I was dead, Timey. But now I'm back. Yeah, but that's not how dead works. She makes a good point. We all checked, Commander, and you were very much no longer with us. And she's still not. This is a trick. Kaz, is this one of yours? It's not an illusion. Not me. I'm alive. I'm still the commander. Poker! If she's squishy, she's a mummy. If she's leathery, she's awakened. And if she's nothing, she's a ghost. We're not going to poke the commander, Timey. Listen, Balthazar has Aurene. We know. He was taking her south toward Kralkatorik when we arrived. We tried to stop him, but there were too many forged. 
And I hate being the bearer of bad news, but it appears that Balthazar has managed to build up quite a formidable army of forged. He does seem to make them faster than we can break them. That's why we need an army of our own. And I met someone in the Domain of the Lost who told me where I can borrow one. Borrow an army. Domain of the Lost? Yay, we have a plan! Kaz, have you got anything that can change our appearances? Yes, but nothing that can make the four of us look like an army. It doesn't have to. It just needs to disguise us as someone else. After I secure our cover story. Okay, I'll be standing by. And I'll be at the casino in Amnoon. If you can come back from the dead, I want to double my wager on you. Fine. <laughs> I'll get word to you all when the time is right. Oh, hey, Commander. Good to have you back. Good to be back. All right. So let us. Oh, three pieces of common unidentified gear. Um. This to open. We got uh, the underworld offering and a Lonian leg box. Let's uh, grab this. See what we get in these. Uh, chest of that equipment. I want. Grab that. Underworld offering. The milling stones and the leg. Uh, I think we medium armor, right? All right, we can grab that. I think we already have it all unlocked. That's okay. Grab that so uh, pass through the bone wall to enter Joko's kingdom in the desolation. Let's exit this instance. And ahead down here. I have a thing closer to it. No, that's all right. Up on our awesome griffin. We go. Womp. There's a creature up here. Ooh, I was also going to see uh, my uh, not mastery is training. I do need to get more stuff so I can actually train um, the untamed. Maybe I can give that one a try. Ooh. And we've got a vista here. Might as well grab this vista over here. Vistas are always a fun thing to grab. Ooh. Walking trees. Oh, they're so beautiful. I'm very excited to see what Arena Net has planned for uh, Guild Wars 2 and the new maps and stories they come up with. It has been a very long time since we've seen a, a new story. Also, um, I'm curious on what you, everyone out there, thinks of what what they might do with like say elite specializations do you think they'll with a new way they're doing expansions will they do still do elite specializations for every um unit or every um um class do you think they'll only pick a couple classes to do elite specializations do you think they'll not do elite specializations at all uh, maybe maybe add a new race that you can play as i might speaking of the awakened which are over here um I'm curious if maybe um, my idea would be the Awakened being a new class, a new race we could play as. I think that would be really cool. Um, not to spoil the spoilers, uh, any story stuff coming out, but there is there is a way that that might uh, eventually be possible. Um, and they're very like human-esque sized uh, or Norn sized, so the animation stuff would be easy to, to switch over and maybe have them start uh, at like level 80 at the end of the Path of Fire uh, campaign or something like that, or the start of it, uh, one of them. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. All right, let's uh, talk with this agent here. Or this the scout. Bone Strand has been cut off by the war. Despite their dedication to Joko, the villagers in purity have seen a rise in suspicious activity, and they've had to endure more scrutiny from the awakened at the garrison. High above purity, the Clan Marshal and his awakened vizier oversee the Bone Strand from the Pergola. The situation is complex. Tensions are rising. Joko's standing orders were to feed the Empire and send awakened troops through Palawa's cut to battle the forged. But the road south is contested. 
All right, so we've never worried too much about the food or security under King Joko, but recently there have been a lot of suspicious things happening. The villagers aren't happy and the Awakened are acting strange. All right. Silly Awakened. Let's talk with... Commander, <laughs> how are you alive? Balthazar killed you. I watched from the shadows as you fell. We knew Balthazar was having you watched, but he struck before we could send a warning. What happened after you... died? In time, I'll tell you. Where I came to be, what I saw, how I escaped, everything that happened since my death. But first, you must help me. In exchange for that knowledge, absolutely. Anything the Order can do, name it. I want to use Joko's army to stop Balthazar. Commander, the Order of Shadows is powerful, accomplished, capable of near miracles. But we can't deliver an army of Awakened to you. No one, save Joko himself, can do that. Archon Iberu could. The Archon? I... I suppose Joko's marshals might follow the orders of the Archon. If those orders came from the King himself. I have it on the best authority that they would. But the Order has no sway with Archon Iberu. The last time we caught Joko's attention, he killed 30 of our agents. I'll take care of Iberu. I just need to know where to find him, and Joko's marshals. I suppose Grand Vizier Udumishi in the Bone Palace to the south would know where the marshals are. As for the Archon, the fastest and safest way to engage him would be to lure him here. But he usually considers the area south of the Wall unworthy of his attention. If he thought the Sun Spears were rebelling down here, he'd have to come running to end the threat, right? There aren't enough Sun Spears left to stage an uprising. Only takes one, and they don't have to be a Sun Spear. A few attacks on awakened camps, some conspicuously placed Sun Spear banners. That would look like a Sun Spear declaration of war no matter who was responsible. It's risky. Very risky. Be careful, Commander. Your next death could be your last. Okay, so uh, replace Joko portraits atop buildings with Sun Spear propaganda and raid awakened camps and fly the banner of the Sun um, of the Sun Spears. Let's uh, see if we can. Oh, these are the banners up here. Here's a perfect spot to start a fake revolution. Uh, I'm gonna go to the, not the skimmer, the griffin. Ooh, actually, I have a new griffin skin. Let us use that one. I'm gonna go to mounts, griffin, and I've got the, uh, what's it called? The lithosoul. So it's like a rock kind of dragon looking thing. It's kind of, oh, I didn't actually select it. Oh, maybe I did. I have to leave the mountain and go back onto it. There we go. Oh, you want to fight here, Awakened Soldier? Okay. This one's for you, Archon. Oh, fell off. Fell off. Oh. This is for the... Uh, renowned Heart. Protect the, the fields. Patch up Awakened Servants. Uh, make repairs in the village, destroy wasp nets, use build gold, break counts to track down spies, and return suspicious orders to uh, Kisha. Alright, take you out. 
and then use this banner. And then don't fall off this time. Set and rescue. Protected. There we go. More banners over here, it looks like. Well, he just like magically changed the banners. Kind of fun. Because the Joko one kind of like melts away. And the Sunspear one was right below it the whole time. It was there the whole time. Okay, there's one more over here. I think I saw one over here. Oh, and there's one up there too. Let's grab this one. Interact with it. Unless they don't stop me from doing it. They, uh... They just show up after I change the banner. Would have been probably better if I uh, showed up before I changed the banner. Sleep again. Oh, God. Okay, you sleep again. Into this Joko banner over here. Oh, there's another. There's two over here. Praise Joko indeed. Oh, I love that they're actually, like, that's actually Joko's face. It's not just his symbol, which, again... Uh, I do kind of like, it looks really cool, I mean, maybe not the, the whip, but uh, I like this symbol, it's really cool. Think about it. Less unrest, more awakening. That's, no. Looks like oh. a rebellion's brewing. They wouldn't do that. Can I still change them, though? I can. Hmm. <laughs> Although that might just be for the renowned heart. Okay, so let's go and we need to also raid awaken camps and fly the banner of the sun spears. Looks like there's one right here. Oh, where's my mouse? There it is. One right here. And one here, and then a couple throughout here. Okay. Should be easy enough to find. You just have to follow this path. Praise Joko. Probably faster to run if I'm on the Raptor Mount. My Chameleon Raptor Mount. Okay, there we go. Camp Banner. Let's switch that up. Do the Sun Spear one. Protected. I really do like the effect of, of the banners changing over. It's kind of cool. Apparently, I've just got a bunch of Sunspear banners in my pocket. Or, with it being um, Guild Wars, maybe I have some type of illusionary magic I'm using. Yes, yes, illusionary ma magic. <sighs> it's illusions, Rocky. Illusions. Okay, I just want to see if I have any waypoints around them. Don't. Okay, so we're gonna do this the old fashioned way. By running. Maybe I could run past this area. No, I guess I can't. Try going this way. Hey, Joko. All right, I guess they want to fight, so let's fight them. Fury rising. Protect me. 
give myself some regen and swiftness and barrier. Give it to Rocky also. Keep Rocky alive. Alright, alright, alright. Yeah, sleep again. Protected. There we go. Uh no, this is the wrong way. Did not have gone in here. I need to go around this way. This way here, okay. Let's go do that, Rocky. Do, 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 do. Ooh, actually, I should also be checking if there's any uh, juvenile uh, pets around this area. Not sure what kind of pets they have in Path of Fire. Something I do still gotta go through is get all of the pets from my ranger here. I also still kind of love how they they still give uh, um, the enemies or the enemies um, the enemies still have uh, uh, levels, even though it's an end game area. It's like a you know it's an expansion area, so you know everything's level eighty, but they still have a level eighty by their name. It's just cause might as well. All right here's a little bit of camp here. Change the banner. Fury rising. Okay, so we got that. Where is the next couple? Oh, right over here, this one. Protect me. That's hard foes on fire. That's not good. There's a waypoint right there I need to grab too. Very convenient. You set tar, uh, tar enemies alight when there's tar all around here. Very, very convenient. Set and rescue. <laughs> Just the noises they make. All right, capture camp. The banners are up. Camps are down. Good. That should get Iberia's attention. Now to the Bone Palace to wait. All right, finish that. So bring out the Archon complete so we get pieces of common identified gear. Swollen Hydra Gut, just what I wanted. And Grenth Copper. Uh, so let's see what we get for that. Oh, we got a Black Lion, trade, uh, Black Lion chest too. Grenth Copper. Oh, we got an Awakened Rifle, uh, which we already have unlocked. Ooh, brass airfoil. <gasps> oh, I'm slowly getting rise the banners of Sun Spear. I'm getting all the stuff so I can eventually get this cool looking backpack. Which is an awesome looking pack. If you get like some like really cool gold armor, man, that would look really cool on your back. That's something I can sell now. Uh don't click to open the hydra uh bladder. Uh and a lost saddle bag inside of there it gives me some vicious claws. Yay! Okay. What is in the... Okay. I'm just seeing what's in the black lighting line chest right now. Okay, so we need to uh, intercept Archon uh, Ibru at the outskirts of the Bone Palace so we can 
take you out and then we can uh, impersonate you. That is the plan. Let's see if we can. I know this is kind of a sulfur area. Oh no. Gonna get better at flying in order to do stuff like that, okay. Nope, not going down there by that giant creature. Let us use this portal and see where that takes us. So jackal portal here. Nope, that took us down. Not where I wanted to go. We are going to spring her up. And by spring her up, I mean fall the way down. Okay, maybe we can't spring her up. Is there a place here we can kind of land? There is. Good. Means we can kind of land here. Good. Means we can kind of land up here. Oh, I'm so close, so close, so close. Okay. Up here. kind of fun about using the springers trying to see what where you can kind of like get hooked onto the geometry there we go there we go actually now let's grab the uh grip griffin oh actually there is a tiny thing over here so let's try to get up there See what time he has to say. If anything. And a griffin uh, advent or adventure thing. I'm not gonna do that, but I'm not I'm not good enough at flying the griffin to do those right now. Or at all. Alright, let's switch back to the springer. And totally fail at jumping. Why was it turning me? I wasn't actually turning. Tommy, this is the commander. Hi, boss. Again, sorry about Irene surprising you like that. Kate and the Exalted did their best, but Irene's a dragon. Their best just wasn't good enough against Nigh Unstoppable. I understand, and I can't really scold anyone for being overwhelmed. There's been a lot of that going around lately, but it was literally the worst case scenario. Now Balthazar has Aureen. As far as we know, she's still alive. For now, and whatever plan he has to use her against Krakatorik is officially underway. Leave it to the God of War to be all focused and military. Can you stop him? Can I help? We're going to try, but the clock's ticking. Unless you can get here as fast as Aureen did, you'll have to leave it to us. Glitch! Okay, listen, I'll be standing by and offering moral, well, intellectual support as needed. <laughs> Hang in there. If anyone can turn this around without my direct participation, it's the rest of Dragon's Watch. Yeah, timey. Alright, let's try. Do the fast griffin running. Some people are really good at this, where they just can be like super quick all the time. The vent nearby. Not worried about that. Here we. Let me get this waypoint first. Go. Okay. Let's enter the Simpsons. And enemy of my enemy. Oh, even Joe goes, I'm... Commander, your Sunspear ruse seems to have succeeded. The Awakened are on high alert. 
And earlier, the Order spotted Iberu en route here to the palace. So, we find the Archon, take him out, then use Kaz's imposter trick to take his place, right? It's not a trick. Mesmers don't do tricks. We utilize illusion. Yeah, yeah. You guys are worse than elementalists. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like the, the bone architecture that uh, Joku has. Okay, so what do we need to do? Intercept the, um, the Archon of the outskirts of the Bone Palace, which is going to be right over here. There you, you are. You're the outlander. Take the Archon out. Quickly. I am the outlander. You're the outlander from the casino. You're lucky I don't have time to deal with you right now. So does you squander your life force. Surrender it to me. No, You're not gonna rising. That is the spot. Attack. Well, that chills. Take heart, Awakened. Your death prolongs my life. Okay, so let's just deal with the Awakened, because he's he's sapping the spot. Yeah, he was sapping the life out of those uh, Awakened. I should have been attacking the Awakened, not him. Protect. Awakened! To my side! my friends with us we should be able to take him out super easy i mean relux has got his awesome amazing sword i think that would do it in like one or two hits poor joko it is joko Force. Nope, Surrender it out. to me. No. Aha! That uh, weakens him. So you wait for him to try to take one of the um, awakened Protect lives, me. and then it uh, attacks. It, uh, it drains his break bar. Search and rescue. Come here. friends. I'll bring the life of one of them. Come here. Well, he might not get the chance. So, oh, there we go. Your life force. Surrender it to me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we That's go. The spot. Oh no. They should. That's okay. Protect me. Fury rising. Fury rising. Gonna come on, wake it soon. Yeah. To my side. Or like, it'd be kind of cool to like, maybe be like an Archon class where I can summon um, Awaken and and steal their life energy. That'd be kind of a fun class. Ah, uh, he keeps doing that to get his life back. I don't like that. That's so annoying. Okay. Fallen Sun Sphere breaks with uh breaks when drain is interrupted. There we go.
Or maybe like a Sun Spear class would be kind of neat. The opposite where you play as a Sun Spear. Ooh. Man, I get... I'm just excited. I'm just excited. Awakened to my side. Protected. Although I'm like, I already have all the other classes I need to play as, so maybe I should concentrate on finishing with those ones first. <laughs> Protect me. We heal as one. So does you squander your life force? Surrender it to me. Hit the spot. I think that's something to make him. Really? Infinite? I don't think they're infinite, but there is a lot of them. <laughs> you get an uh, achievement for finishing this fight in like two minutes. I am clearly not going to be even close to that. Oh <laughs> man, this is not going well. thing with my rangers i really haven't found a build that i really really feel confident with yet i'm actually since it's been time some time uh, playing around with some builds to kind of find one uh that i like a little bit these soldiers are useless would you i'll just take you out myself usually not the most um uh you know min maxing or the best I end up using I like, I like using what I feel comfortable with sometimes. I don't I don't mind this right now, but I don't feel like I'm doing as much damage as I should. I also gotta find like uh, items and a build and stuff that works for me. Like uh, the actual equipment and stuff. I need to start working on in Guild Wars 2 is uh, getting as much like DPS and stuff as I can. I gotta switch it out here. And noticing little things like that. Well, I guess technically I am playing kind of a healer class right now. You're almost down. Huh? Almost, almost, almost. Boom! There we go. We win. Now that the real Iberu's out of the picture, it's time to bring in the imposter. Kaz. Uh, I'm not looking forward to looking like an awakened, but go on. Mesmerize me. <laughs> okay, one Archon in his entourage coming up. There. So, how do I look? Like something that's been dead and buried for a year, then dug up and dragged back to life. How about me? Uh, same. Let's just hope this fools the Vizier. All right, so let's uh, see if this works. And I do love the the effect around us that shows us what we actually look like. Even though we look like us, we kind of have this little glow effect that uh, shows us who we're supposed to be impersonating. Let's infiltrate the Bone Palace here. The beautiful Bone Palace. Okay. Seems to be working. Well, I can see why they call this the Bone Palace. Are those centaur bones? I guess Joko hates to see any dead body go to waste. Well, they are if centaurs. If you're a human, you're awakened. If you're a centaur, you're architecture. <laughs> Although awakened centaurs would be kind of cool. I don't Look, explain Susie. my my pet here. I don't know. Archon, on 
No, I attacked Archon Iberu. It... it was an accident. Please forgive me, Archon. So does your arrival mean the Sunsphere Uprising has been crushed? Like it never existed. I'm here to deliver plans for King Joko's next great victory to Grand Vizier Udumishi. Of course, Archon. The Grand Vizier is inside, conferring with War Marshal Ikolo. Please don't tell Udumishi I attacked an Archon. Please. Just wipe him out. Also, that sword is awesome looking. Now, what is this? What is this bone face from? What? What is that big creature? What is that? That's what I want to know. It will be good, when King Joko. Praise Joko. Nothing nonsense, Worm Marshal. Of course, King Joko values the contribution of your Worm Corps. Grand Vizier Udumishi. Archon Iberu, welcome. I trust you've come to quell this unrelenting Sun Spear insurgency. I bring orders from King Joko, who commands that we turn our might against the true threat. The fallen god Balthazar. He has tasked me with leading his army against the disgraced deity. I trust that you will make the necessary arrangements. I'm honored, Archon, but also confused. I didn't realize Joko had returned. And you know that in his wisdom, Joko has only given me authority over civil matters, not military. Perhaps I misspoke. That's quite unlike you, Archon. You're usually so precise. Or perhaps you misheard me. You must forgive Urumishi, Archon. He can't possibly understand how little attention heroes of battle, such as you and I, pay to the job descriptions of civil servants. I should hope the Vizier was not questioning the direct orders of his all-seeing king. Oh, no, 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 no. I would never question the will of the most munificent Joko. Unlike my dear acquaintance, I pledge to you the unquestioned fealty of myself and my Worm Corps. I trust Marshals Ogun and Aronko will do the same. And how might I contact the other Marshals? You'll find Troop Marshal Ogun at his camp southeast of Vajin. He's currently training new recruits there. And Beast Marshal Aranko is drilling the kingdom's cavalry from atop a plateau near the necropolis. King Joko will be told of your assistance, War Marshal. And Vizier. I promise your name will come up as well. <laughs> Alright, let's go speak with our team in private. We'll leave this beautiful. Why not? No meat, no bones. Uh, we'll uh, leave this beautiful bone palace. Horde will be defeated soon. Balthazar's army will be broken. Yeah, we'll break Balthazar's army. All of King Joko's enemies must be destroyed. Thank you for not mentioning my earlier assault to the Grand Vizier. And please don't tell Joko. I beg you, Archon, please. He scares me. You're a disgrace to the uniform. <laughs> Well, that even even they have uh, fear and stuff of their their leaders and and uh, you know all that stuff. Okay, let's talk with everybody. Well played, Commander. You have a real talent for navigating the world of bureaucratic kiss assery. Now all we have to do is dupe the other two marshals into joining the cause. I nearly slipped up with the vizier. We should split up. See what we can learn about the other two beforehand to avoid mistakes. Can we at least lose these disguises for now? The buzzard stairs are making me nervous. There. Better. <sighs> Much. <sighs> but I think the stench is still clinging to my fur. <laughs> I believe that was there before. We'll meet up near Vejin and compare notes on the troop marshal. Good luck. All right, so let's... uh Exit here and meet your guildmates at the Troop Marshal's encampment uh, later on. But I think uh, that is something I'm going to save for next episode. Uh, looks like we're heading, where we're heading over here. Uh, the enemy of my enemy, finishing that up. But that's going to be something I'm going to save for next episode. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching uh, this episode. Uh, don't forget if you guys like what you see, hit that like and subscribe button. If you don't like what you see, you can hit that dislike button too. 
But uh, I know I'm enjoying this so far. Um, also, the stream uh, this week will be uh, again after this on the Tuesday, but the week after this, uh, it will be on the 27th of... Um, yeah, the 27th of February, not the 28th, the 28th. I will not be streaming at all, but the 27th, I should be streaming that day. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. And as always, until next time, keep your stick on the ice.